Our first candidate is Emily Elwood, the daughter of Pete and Joni Elwood. Emily's most significant accomplishments include winning reserve champion catch a calf at the National Western Stock Show her freshman year, being named the honor roll all through high school, serving as FFA president, National Honor Society vice president, GR Club Secretary and a member of the Student Council this year as well as attaining the greatest friends anyone could ask for and learning to get along with her little brother Jake. Emily states that she would like to be a good role model for the underclassmen. Keep the school spirit rocking and make memories that will last a lifetime. She would also like to get into our hop at CSC for Dentistry and overall, have a great senior year. Emily is being escorted by her father, Pete. Yay. Next, we have Kirsten Hinn. Kirsten is the daughter of Chuck and Janet Hinn. Her accomplishments include getting a lead in the one-act play, being a three-sport letter winner, all-conference honorable mention last year in volleyball, being a part of Mustang mentality and going to WTC and High Plains Honor Choir. Kirsten's goal for this year is to inspire the students of GRHS to get involved in school activities and be dedicated to our school because high school goes by so fast. Kirsten is being escorted by her father, Chuck. Brittany Hoagland is the daughter of Gary and Angie Hoagland. Brittany lists as her most significant accomplishments as having a 4.0 GPA, having a lead in the state runner-up one-act play, being a three-sport letter winner, being selected for WTC and High Plains Honor Choirs and Academic All-State in Volleyball and One-Acts. Brittany would like to help to improve school spirit at GRHS before she graduates. Brittany is escorted by her father, Gary. <laughs> Callie Mulcahy is the daughter of Pat and Marvy Mulcahy. Her accomplishments include making it to state track and placing seventh her freshman year, having a 4.0 GPA, being a member of the state runner-up one-act cast, being a member of National Honor Society, and getting all-conference honorable mention in basketball. During her senior year, Callie says that, I want to improve our school spirit. Callie is being escorted by her father, Pat. Oops. Audra Sassy is the daughter of Jim and Amber Sassy. Audra's most significant accomplishments include being the first lady Mustang to qualify for state golf, placing first in her subject at CSC Scholastic Day last year, maintaining a 4.0 GPA, being chosen as first chair French horn at High Plains Honor Band, and being Mr. Ross, fourth hour student aide. Audra says that her desired accomplishments this year are to have been a good example and positive role model for the underclassmen. Audra's father, Jim, is escorting her tonight. Last but not least, we have Morgan Soans who is the daughter of Rod and Robin Sons. Morgan's accomplishments include being a part of both the basketball and volleyball teams, lettering in a sport every year, being a varsity captain in volleyball, and trying to get to know everyone. Morgan's goal this year is to go to state in volleyball and basketball, and she hopes to finish her high school career with no regrets. Morgan is being escorted by her father, Rod Soames. Get over with. 
Let's give all these ladies a round of applause to recognize all of their accomplishments. Performing the coronation duties this year are the 2011 Homecoming Queen and King, Lindsay Milburn and Dalen Blackcap. Earlier this afternoon at the pep rally, Lee Smith was crowned as the 2012 Homecoming King. Congratulations to Lee and all of the candidates. You were all very deserving. And now the moment we have all been waiting for. The 2012 Gordon Rushville High School Homecoming Queen is Miss Audra Sassy. Congratulations to Audra and congratulations to all of the Hong Kong candidates.